Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Bob and Tom. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We are uh, experiencing a minor technical issue here. Uh We're working rapidly to get it fixed. In the meantime, I can tell you this. That's Pat Godwin over there. I can see I him. I am indeed. He's in the other room, but uh, he's got his guitar out, and he's already presented us with some great songs. I think I want to do the French fry thing. Sure. Coming up, I've got another little what? update on that. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Jeff Oskey sitting in for Chick McGee at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. Over there, it's Josh. Christie's in the next room. This is Tom speaking. Ace Cosby, of course, is our engineer. And Ace Cosby is responsible for the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. We're going to feature that right now. Now, are you going to do the one that was submitted to us? Sadly, oh. our internet's down and I can't pull it up. Oh, oh no. didn't I print it out for you? Uh, Apparently not. Okay, well. You I don't get, remember it? <laughs> it's not that tough. <laughs> There's no way it's that tough. Well, in lieu of that, he'll do his previously planned joke. This is the Ace Cosby joke that I brought you by OmahaStakes.com. Set news, I lost Dwayne Johnson's cutting tool for his origami. Oh, no. Yeah, I lost the rocks, paper, scissors. <laughs> Rocks, paper, scissors. You know what? You know, that, that, that's a solid joke. I agree. That, that, yeah, I he's agree. on base with that yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, that's when you can tell at the water cooler. It is. Yep. I lost the rocks, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Yes. Oh, that's very just, good. That Nothing is... from Oscar, though. He's uh, Not even a chuckle. Though. Yeah. No. Waiting for the five-year-old's joke. <laughs> oh, God. It was, we had Tom, a... Tom, don't you have it? You can... Ah, uh, yeah, somewhere. I, well, I didn't. I put it on. Paper. I put I printed it on it. your desk this morning, Ace. I printed it. I printed it this morning. <laughs> I'm. Ta- Ace knows damn well where it is. <laughs> he is <laughs> not oh, gonna do it. Should I go into your on. office and get it? Uh, yeah. All right. I put it on this desk this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we had a five-year-old said, submit a uh, an Ace yeah, Cosby yeah, shot. Shot. His, 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 his dad sent it in. It's. It's his, it's his uh, birthday, I think, or something. Oh, I love this. Okay, well, we'll we'll dig it up. Remember the kid a couple of weeks ago? He opened up a joke stand as, as opposed to a lemonade stand. Yeah. And oh, yeah, that for, was great. It was for a, a quarter or 50 cents or whatever. You okay, could... I got it, Ace. This is from uh, Robert. And uh, Robert you tell it, writes, I, I have a reputation to live up to. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Robert's son, uh, Miles, just turned five. Man, what a great name, too, Miles. Yeah. Um, he would like to hear this uh, this joke. I guess this is his favorite joke. Okay, but I think he he wants to hear yeah, Ace he tell Ace it. Do it, yeah. Uh, okay. Tom's funnier than that. Can I print it? Is the, uh, is the printer? I know we're having the a printer's bunch of- working. Can you Ace, print it? This print kid's it. Kid's birthday. You're not gonna. I looked. We looked on his desk. It's not on his desk. Okay, well, just have you print lo- it. Looked in the wastebasket. I can't because I got it. This requires <laughs> some editing. Uh, oh. Boy, we're giving this a really I, t- I told you it was filthy. It was, yeah, you got to well, do it now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you say the the, the S word here? <laughs> no, you can't. Okay, you can't. all right. It well, kind of changes. There it no, is. Yeah. Oh, we, okay, here we go. Okay, now, Ace. Oh, okay. Woo. Once again, this is going out to... Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of build up. Young Miles, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Robert. We really screwed this up. Yeah. This is Robert's... all of five seconds to find it on <laughs> Ace's desk. This is Robert's favorite childhood joke. Now, yeah. it's not Miles' favorite joke? No, no, I'm sorry. It's Robert's favorite joke. Miles is his son who just turned five. Okay. Great age. Enjoy it while you can, Robert. So Miles didn't write this. <laughs> oh, for gosh sake. He did, in fact, his son didn't even request it. Robert's assuming his son wants to hear this joke set on the air. <laughs> this better be the holy grail of kid jokes. It better. Yeah, no kidding. I, this, I, Robert, I sincerely apologize. But the, but the reason, uh, uh, boy, we can. The make reason I like young Miles, he's five years old. He's a big fan of um, uh, the Eagle pictures we've been posting. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool! And yeah. by the way, we posted a new one today. You did? Oh, yes, man. yes. Uh, uh, the eaglets. And there's a there's an eagle's hmm. nest right near our, our Are they radio station. It? Yeah, they're almost they're jumping up and down in the <gasps> in the nest. We got a great new picture of those. One of them plummeted. Um, <laughs> oh, Miles is also a huge fan of the banjo and of Bert Camfort. But the Miles, main man. reason the main reason I'm responding to this is that Miles hates a keyboard bass. <laughs> and as you know, I have stated uh, categorically, if I had a time machine, the first thing I would do is go back and make sure that the Doors had a real bass player and not Ray Manzarek noodling on the keyboard bass, which is why their live album stinks. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, get a real bass player. My God. Uh, 
Now, um, Race, are you prepared? Have you studied Without this joke? Without further ado. <laughs> Here we go. Now, After eight minutes. This goes for young Miles. Robert, thank you for taking the time and trouble to submit this. And ladies and gentlemen, OmahaStakes.com presents the one, the only, the legend, Ace Cosby, with the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Hey, did you guys hear about the worm that joined the army? No. no. He was in the Apple Corps. <laughs> <laughs> How right. dare you sully your reputation like that? <laughs> I'll never forgive you. You see, you see, core, C O R P S. Funny. C O R E, we. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just kind of spelling jokes. <laughs> wow. Is Sorry. that image lost? Do they still use, do kids know the image of a worm and an Coming apple? Coming out of an apple? Yeah. I would think. Yeah, Maybe. I don't know. Why not? I just remember. <laughs> you don't see a lot of apples with worms in them anymore. <laughs> Well, that's a shame. Yeah, the only <laughs> the only apples kids see are on the back of their phones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sad but true. <laughs> yeah. We're already cut up in packages. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, congratulations. If you'd like to submit a joke, don't bother. Don't no, no, yeah, because obviously <laughs> we don't have the time. <laughs> we don't know how to do. Uh, this is a chant. I say cluster. You. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. This is like a Monday show. Okay. They're very, very good. Where were we? Um, uh, Christy Lee, of course, uh, is in the newsroom over there. What, what have you got, Christy? Well, you'll soon be able to abide the distraction-free rotary dial cell phone. <laughs> what? Why? Well, a woman has built one. Justine Hopped used an open source design and salvaged parts to make her first phone a rotary dial cell phone. She's currently working on a Mark II version that would be available as a ready-built device with an electronic display, newly manufactured rotary parts, an SD card slot, and an upgrade from 3G to 4G. A description for the portable wireless electronic digital rotary telephone reads, quote, This is a statement against a world of touchscreens, hyper connectivity oh. and complacency with Big Brother watchdogs. Okay, if you're interested, the new rotary <laughs> will be available in September. What's her name again? Her name is uh, Justine Haupt. Okay, Justine. First of all, now you're going to have to remember all those phone numbers. Remember, remember those days? <laughs> yeah. Carry around yeah. that little mini Rolodex? <laughs> Why I would honestly, you need an I honestly code? can't remember. I don't know anyone's phone number. I don't either. I know. Nope. Um, I barely know my own. Uh, you never have to dial them anymore. Yeah. I'll take a StarTech if they bring those back. I love They those. are bringing those back, aren't they? Did, didn't we do that? Well, So there's a picture of this thing. Yep, it's a, uh, it's a cell phone with a dial on it. But it doesn't have a receiver you hang up, like the old road. No. Right. No. It looks, yeah. I like the ones so it's like the ones on Andy Griffith. Remember in the old, or in the old <laughs> oh, movies? Yeah. The old movies where you got to pick up the thing off and they hold that to your ear and Love then that. speak That's into the. Great. Yeah, you actually speak in the receiver, essentially. Yeah, those are cool. You have to wind it up. <laughs> you know, hey, hello, Sarah. Can you get me Barney? Oh my. How many phone numbers do you think you know? Do you know your daughter's actual phone numbers? Um, one of them is really, really easy because it's really cool. So I do know one for sure. Uh -oh. Man, I I know I literally know none. And I've tried to memorize my boyfriend's phone number again and again, and I, boy, I think I know it. I think it's written on the men's. Yeah, it's in the wow. men's room right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys both jumped on that. So I, was, uh, that I was, was right excellent. there, yeah, yeah. right above the glory. Uh, yeah. You guys are so nice, and I do know my sister's cell phone number, so I do know. I guess. Wow, three. so you know two. two I'm impressed. I'm. Yeah. That's two more than I. I know my mom's. That's it. Yeah. I don't even know my mom's because she uses her landline more than her cell phone. Oh. Your, your mom's phone number is also in the men's room. <laughs> 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 that goes without saying. Good for you. <laughs> I don't know this from personal experience, but I had a friend recently who, uh, who got arrested and the officers let him write numbers on his arm off of his phone before they brought him into jail so that he would be able to call uh, family and friends. That's how it's done. Because yeah. no one has anyone. Pat, huh. you know that, this? For 2005, that, that was how it was done. Yeah, you had to write it down on your hand. Yeah, you were early on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that was super nice because I wouldn't know anyone's number to call. Nope. Um, the only number I'd know to call would be the police and I'd already be with them. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Yeah. I know my mother's, I know my friend Eric, and I know part of Christie's, most of Christie's. Uh, oh. I know it's oh, something no something round heel. Yeah, oh, isn't it? Uh, isn't it for a good time? You spell that out yeah. on the for a good five 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 six nine. So just hand it a new joke. Oh. Yeah, wait, well, hang on. Uh, is this? Can we send this one out? 
to uh, Miles? our young friend Miles since we screwed up the first one. Uh, sorry, Happy birthday, right. Miles. Yes, okay. Miles. Uh, this is, so, so this is Miles' birthday joke. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Ace Cosby. Brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. Hey, Miles, get your dad some Omaha Steaks for Father's Day. Go ahead, Ace. What's the difference between Dubai and Abu Dhabi? Mm. Uh. People in Dubai don't like the Flintstones, but people in Abu Dhabi, 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 Abu Dhabi, Dhabi do. do. <laughs> people in Abu Dhabi do. Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> Did you know Miles uh, has three brothers also named Miles? I did not. Yeah. Whenever I go over there, I can see four Miles. Miles. <laughs> <laughs> I can see so four. So now, now, now we're doing custom. Do you, have, do, you have wow. do you have anything for his dad? Do you have any, like a nice Robert joke? I can see four um, Miles. Wow. <sighs> we have been joined by uh, Jessica Alsman from our staff and the lovely comedian Allie Breen. You in New York City, Allie? No, I'm actually visiting my family in Atlanta. Oh, oh wow. Huh. Yeah. Because it, look, it looks different in the background there. I know. I'm blending in. I was just saying to Jess, I picked a wall that's the same exact color as my hair and skin. So <laughs> yeah. it's like we should swap. Basically. I know we really should. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that there are a couple of people that would be interested in swapping. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for that pay per view. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So where was I? Oh, this is Tom speaking. That's Ace. There's Jeff Oskey sitting in for Chick McGee at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. Josh Arnold's over there. Christy Lee's in the next room. Hi, everybody. And uh, let's see. We are on the, we are technically <laughs> on the, uh, the the track phone hotline. Uh, Pat Godwin is going to do a special introduction here. And I guess um, you're visiting family, Allie? Yes, I am. You now, you uh, have, have been in New York City during the, the duration of this uh, lockdown, whatever you want to yeah. call it. Yeah. And you had, uh -huh. to actually, you had to actually move to a different apartment because of all the noise. And all the construction. Yeah. So we'll do this for your family members to to help you, them understand what you were going through. Pat has a, a special song. Dear Alley, dear Alley, I have a big drill. I drill in the morning by your windowsill. I work at your complex. I'm quite sure you heard. I waved to you one day, but you flipped me the bird. Signed, Loud Driller. <laughs> loud driller, loud driller. I've had my fill. I hide under my pillar and take <laughs> sleeping pills. You've been drilling all day during this quarantine. You may have a big drill, but a tiny ball peen. <laughs> Signed, Dear Ali. Ah, oh, very uh, nice. A tribute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love it. Sorts. Thank you for thinking, Rachel. Yes, Ace. Ali, how was your crowd? Was your flight? It was about half full. Did so, you, there's people flying, but it's not a lot. Did you wear a mask the whole time? Yeah, everyone has to wear masks. And then they give you a little bag of a, like a water and Cheez-Its. Oh, okay. So, they don't do like regular service. but um. So, do you, but slip, yeah, the, do you slip the Cheez-It under your mask to eat? Or? I know, that's the thing. I feel uh -huh. weird because you have to kind of sneak it <laughs> if you want to eat. I feel like someone's going to yell at you if you take your mask off to, to take a nosh. Okay. So, it's weird, but it feels, I mean... Have you? And apparently, they made an announcement that they recycle the air in a plane every five minutes. Wow. I thought it was all, yeah, I thought it was all totally um, contained. I don't know, contained. Yeah. <laughs> Did you uh, see no, that? That's because uh, they they open the windows in the front. <laughs> you know, right. You don't see that. Did you see the guy sitting at the slot machine in Las Vegas since they've reopened? No. He's sitting at the slot machine in Vegas and he has on his mask, but he's smoking a, and his gloves and he's smoking a cigarette and he's gliding it like this. And he kind of pulls the mask over to the oh, side. Boy. It's so uh, ridiculous. And, uh, <laughs> that actually may be, the, uh, I'm wondering if smoking will go down. No, I mean, I'm wondering if it'll help prevent you from getting it. Oh. I wonder if it'll cause mask fires. That's <laughs> it doesn't exactly like what that. I thought, Allie. I go, he's going to catch that mask on fire. But yeah, for, exactly. Can you imagine what a great day that would be for some people if... <laughs> Well, the president just said I got to start smoking again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like Marlboro kills it. I don't. Know, there, there wasn't. There's some speculation about that. Yes, yeah. there was early on, especially in France. Okay. Yeah, they were doing studies, and in Canada. So I don't know how far we've come with those, but okay. We'll they were do. saying wow. pot pot smokers were uh, yes. Yep, or same thing. Less, uh, this was uh, Surgeon General, General Cheech Marin. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this is... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was in High Times Magazine, so you know it's, <laughs> okay. it has to be a fact. All right, now, um, 
Allie, we had a weird story today. I don't know if you saw this about a lady who's in New York who's developed a, a rotary cell phone. <laughs> oh, wow. That's bizarre. Uh, yeah, I, which would be, and apparently it works. Do you know if you okay. Google rotary dial phone, do you know what comes up? No. Instructions on how to use a rotary dial phone. Wow. Because if you think about it, kids don't have any idea. Any, you know, where, are they, yeah. where are they accessing it? I don't know, but that was the yeah. first thing that came up when I Googled. Remember, <laughs> if you watch TV shows from the 60s or 70s and someone has to dial a phone, mm-hmm. everyone's phone number must have been 111212. <laughs> and it was yeah. never, it was never yeah. all the way, way around. <laughs> 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 yeah. I loved using it. With my grandma's. Loved oh, of course. I hated them. <laughs> Why? I mean, your fingers would slip. <laughs> Pain in the ass. <laughs> I used to like to hang out with, you know, the two nipples you have to press down. To yes. Go up, to a, oh, yeah. go up to a public phone. God knows where that thing's been. <laughs> sure. Oh, come on. You weren't was, always a germaphobe. The receiver was probably up somebody. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> up somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Allie. Those have to be filthy. Allie, you're responsible for helping people with their uh, love lives. Have you got any letters for us? Absolutely. Here we go. Dear Allie. I just turned 30 and nobody told me that my hormones would start raging out of control. Do we know I woman or man? This is a female. Okay. Mm-hmm. I literally want to have sex all the time with everyone I see. Yes. My boyfriend is 38 and he only wants to have sex like twice a week. Do I start cheating or find someone younger who can match my libido? Wow, well, well. Deer hanging Dang. out with a gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the, the uh, uh, male sexual peak is between 18 and 22, and the female is between 28 and 32. So this, you want to get a younger guy. Uh, but think- 38, 38 year olds still usually have a pretty strong libido, right. don't you think? Oh sure, sure. You can have a strong libido throughout your whole life, but it's those are the those are considered the peaks. Those are the peaks. Twenty eight gotcha. to thirty two. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. What would you name this uh, letter writer? Like in the old Dear Abby days, where they would. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to <laughs> wet and wanting. <laughs> oh, right. geez. So you got you to make it dear, dear Miss Sorry. Wet and Wanting. Yeah, yeah. So you got you to class it up a little bit. My bad. Okay, thank you very much. Let's get to our next letter. Allie Breen is the way to go here. You go to A L L I B R E E N to send her your love trouble. Dear Allie, my girlfriend constantly misinterprets the meaning and tone to almost everything I say. She won't let me explain, and she never meets me in the middle or says she was wrong in her interpretation. Oh, I got this one. I got this one. Yeah, go ahead, Uh, Dear, welcome to life. Yeah. Dear, you're talking to a woman. Yes. This will never change. Signed, God. Dear, my ex-wife. Dear, you're preaching to the choir. Well, you guys really jumped on this. Sorry. I I think, dear, you probably are wrong. Could we? (laughs) Yes. Could we finish the letter? What was the question? I'm the one who always has to apologize and it's starting to really annoy me. Is there any way I can make her see that she's being totally unreasonable? Well, first off, never tell her that she's <laughs> you are trying to make her see that she's being totally unreasonable. Good point. <laughs> Consider going gay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how men actually see women, really. All no, of, not at all. Every one of you guys that. jumped on that Well, of letter. course. Because yes. we all... <laughs> Our men. <laughs> right. we've, all, we've all dealt with uh, isn't women this, Isn't this a letter about being wrong? Okay. <laughs> well, am I misinterpreting this? Oh, boy. I Jess think- is right, though. If he does bring it up, she's just going to be like, no, you're still wrong. Yeah. Wrong again. Mm-hmm. Nice try. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Ooh. He's probably used the C word before with her, too. No. Crazy. Ooh. Crazy. crazy. Oh, crazy. crazy. Oh, as soon as you bring you, that yeah. out, like, you're being yeah. crazy. I gotta, by the way, I want to give you a glossary of the Bob and Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Do's and don'ts. <laughs> the, C, the C word in the show is vastly crazy. different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, I think we've done good work oh, today. Wait a minute. I no, we haven't. So too. Absolutely. You, you can reach Always. Allie Breen. It's A L L I B R E E N, Allie Breen, comedian, and she can help maybe help you with uh, what's going on in your world. Thanks again, Allie. Bye, Allie. Be Perfect. safe. Bye, guys. Always Bye. appreciate Bye. it. Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.